Wakey, wakey. Rise and shine. Wake up, little ones. Wake up. Anybody wake? There you are. Good morning. Good morning. Would you like something? Some banana? Over here, we got some kale. Huh? We'll put some in here. He thinks I'm gonna continue to feed him here. So I'm just gonna turn him around. And I got a little house. These two are the same age. You can see the female is much bigger than the male. He's trying to be friendly. She wants to come over and eat. So she's hiding. And that's what a male does to be friendly. And you know, the fronts of her legs are actually scarred where they will bite her. That's exactly what you think it is. Okay, cut away. It does show, however, that women can multitask. So we'll give her some banana. Oh. That's what I mean. He bit her. She was over here looking at the food. Let's so go distract him once in a while. We planted wisteria here, and that's what you're seeing all this greenery. And basically, God gives me free food because all these little succulent branches or leaves that come out, they love. So I just pick these. That's why you'll see some of these are kind of bald. I just pick them. And it's like free food in the morning. I do supplement with kale and everything that we eat. Basically, nothing goes to waste. And I'll just throw it on the on the ground here, and they'll come along and eat it. But also, wisteria produces blooms, and that's like candy. So I reach up and I'll grab one of these. Okay. That one's a hard reach. So I'll grab that. And that'll be fun. We're going to offer this over here. There we go. So now they'll take a look at the flower. And they'll forget their bickering. I usually feed them in the same area. That way, if I'm not out here, if I'm here before they are, or they come along later, they'll always know where the food is. I try and feed them in the morning when I know they're going to be active. Um, and then I might come along later in the evening and feed them some more. They can't get out of this fencing. This is um, uh, wrought iron fencing. Um, the, it, the whole planter is surrounded by deck and then the bricks so that they can't dig out. Yeah, 
as I said, nothing goes to waste in the house. Cantaloupe rinds, banana peels, they'll eat all of that. I give them uh, fresh fruits and vegetables all year long. Um, whatever we're eating, they eat. Um, the best time of the year is springtime because God litters the landscape with dandelions, and that is their favorite thing of all, absolute favorite thing of all. So I just go out like a, a kid on an Easter egg hunt with a basket, and I pick as many as I can, and fortunately, they're all over. Even if they're not in your yard, they're all over. You can stop by any field and just pick dandelions, and they will love you. It's not it's kind of like manna in, in, in the desert for the Israelites. They had to pick it every day. Dandelions don't last. You can't pick today and serve it to them tomorrow or pick too many for today, and you just have to pick it every day. But uh, the easiest thing, if you run out of anything, is romaine and kale. Um, those are relatively inexpensive. Um, they like mealworms. Um, but more, they're more vegetarian. They're opportunistic feeders. They'll eat most everything. Um, so if a bug happens by, they'll eat that. If a frog happens by, they'll eat that. But, um, you know, you can buy a bag of kale. Not um, iceberg lettuce ever. There's absolutely nothing in it for them. They will eat it for the water content, but it has no nutrition, just like it doesn't for us. So uh, of all your lettuces, that's not going to be the one that you're going to want to use. But um, pretty much anything vegetable or a fruit that you would eat, they'll eat too. So um, the biggest thing about this enclosure is making sure that there is shade. Um, so if you're if they're outdoors, uh, you want to make sure they have plenty of shade. They since they're reptiles, they don't have a natural ability to regulate their heat like we do, so they have to do it manually. They walk into the sun to warm themselves up. They dig in the dirt or sit in the shade to cool themselves down. A reptile needs sun to digest their food, which is why they pretty much stop eating, you know, as the days get shorter, and that's why they can hibernate. So we loosen up the soil in here so that it's um, pretty easy for them to dig in. We add, fall is a great time, you just grab leaves off the ground. We throw leaves everywhere in here and they will dig themselves a hole, cover themselves up with the dirt and the leaves, and then we won't see them again until February. And we don't really uh, have to do much. We just kind of keep an eyeball to make sure there's nothing weird going on, but otherwise we just keep them with their leaves. We don't add to their covering, really, uh, because they know enough to do it themselves. And um, when spring comes, we do watch them because this is Texas, and they can be fooled by the weather. So they're not going by the warmth of the air. They're going by the warmth of the earth. So late February, when the earth starts to warm up a little bit, um, is when they'll start sticking their heads up. But... Um, if we were to get a frost, they've got, they know enough to duck down, but still I, I watch out for them for, you know, the next month and a half or so to make sure that there isn't any um, frost that they're not prepared for. Um, if you don't want them to hibernate, you can just bring them in the house. Um, they'll be slow and they won't eat much, um, but you can bring them in the house and you know, some people just put them in a box under the bed. Um, I like to have them out, you know, in the early years when they were small, they wintered in the house and they weren't very active, but I could at least look at them. Um, I wouldn't winter anything smaller than four or five inches um, outside. So you could have them out, if you buy smaller ones, you could have them outside um, from say May to September and then bring them in for the rest of the year but um, you know these guys they're now permanent outdoor residents so if you have any questions you're welcome to contact me